A surprise announcement from North Korea that it's blowing up its nuclear test site next week was quickly welcomed not just in Seoul but by other countries as well. While the North invited reporters from most of the six-party denuclearization talks, members of the nations, and even from the UK, it has intentionally left out Japan. Lee ji tells us more. North Korea's surprise announcement was praised by major stakeholders in the issue, especially U.S. President Donald Trump. On Saturday, Trump tweeted his thanks to the North for its decision, calling it a very smart and gracious gesture. The announcement comes exactly a month before the first-ever North Korea-U.S. summit, set to be held in Singapore. Some observers say this shows how determined the North is to denuclearize, despite not being immediately rewarded for steps taken in that direction. In the U.S., an official from the White House National Security Council reportedly said the council welcomes Pyongyang's announcement. The official also stressed that a thorough verification and inspection by international experts is key to denuclearizing Pyongyang. North Korea's closest ally, China, also reported on the North's announcement in detail. Chinese news outlets emphasized how Chinese journalists are among those from the five countries invited to witness the demolition. Japan, however, was the only participant in the six-party talks not invited to send reporters, despite its latest efforts to get involved in the North Korea issue. The North has been repeating that unless Japan repents for its past wrongdoings, it will not normalize ties with Tokyo. Pyongyang also published commentary on Saturday accusing Japan of using what it called the already settled issue of Japanese abductees in the North to, quote, foolishly hinder the peaceful atmosphere on the Korean peninsula. It listed Japan's wrongdoings in its colonization of Korea in the early 1900s and warned that only redemption of the past can help Japan. There has been no official statement yet from Tokyo. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.